Hello, today's video is on stock number 36621MI, the uh, battery low voltage protection module. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to program it and let you see it in action. Uh, first off, as you can see the size, it's 1 and 5 eighths square. These are 1 inch squares and about 3 quarters of an inch thick. Uh, board level, as you can see, so you must protect it. Uh, it uses a 20 amp uh, relay rated at 14 volts DC. This is a DC only module. Uh, let's see, it's rated for 12 to 36 volt DC batteries. Uh, anything below 7 volts, this thing just, just doesn't operate. Uh, let's see, uh, accuracy is 0.1 volt. Uh, I was playing with it earlier and running it at 14 volts uh, with the relay active and the, the display, it was pulling about 90 milliamps. As it dropped, and it got down to about 12 volts, it was pulling close to 100 milliamps. Then of course, once the relay shuts off and you're just running the display, is was about 25 milliamps. So keep that in mind. Um, first issue I had with the part, uh, the little screw terminals on the top were very tight. Uh, just took a little bit of effort and realizing you had to uh, unscrew them counterclockwise to get it to loosen up. But uh, hopefully, they're not all like that, but it's just the one I did it was like that. Uh, just keep that in mind. And let's see, you have a plus and a minus button that gets into programming. I'll show you that in a moment in display. Okay, that's how the unit comes. I already have one hooked up to a fan just to give you an idea. See it running? This is your voltage in that's going to my benchtop power supply. Uh, voltage out to the fan. You know, voltage in is voltage out. Turn my supply on, turn up, actually I have it set at 14 volts there, fan turns on, so you've got an indicator, and obviously it follows it, I have it set at 12 volts right now, it turns off at 12 volts, but it turns back on at 14, okay, now let's get into the program and show you how it works, uh, on the plus button, if you press and hold, starts flashing and instantly you have to be really fast because it, it'll add a, a tenth of a volt. Well, you can change your setting. This is your, your voltage turn off. Let's say if I wanted to turn off it, let's say 11 volts. Okay, you leave it alone. Once it stops flashing, it goes back. That's the voltage actually running into it right now. Now if you press and hold the minus button, now, yep, did it again. It did, you gotta be quick. Oh, you also gotta be quick or it goes back. Let's change that now. It says two volts. That's the difference between the shutoff voltage and the uh, turn back on. So that would be 13 volts. 11 volts if I turn off, plus two is 13 volts when it will turn back on. So let's try that out real quick. Gets below 11, should turn off. Now it should turn back on at 13 volts. And that's the one little point I want to show you because, like I said, it's not intuitive when you see just that two volts. That that's the difference between your turn off and where it turns back on. That's the major thing I wanted to show you. Um, other than that, really wouldn't recommend setting the the uh, turn back on at the same voltage as your turn off because if you're pulling a, a nice load, your battery could you could just flip off and on and chatter with the load turning switching off and on. So. Depending on how big your battery is and how big your load is, you may have to play with that a little bit to get to work properly. Um, I guess that's a pretty simple, straightforward little device. Hopefully this answers your questions. If you have any more, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.